it's just tragic. The whole situation, tragic. Our other top story, a four-year-old boy fighting to survive. His mother's boyfriend, a member of law enforcement, is accused of putting him in the hospital. Michael Abo is a reserve officer for the Yamhill Police Department. He was arrested early this morning. K2 Stephen Mayer spent the day gathering information on this. And Stephen, the officer's neighbors woke up to quite the scene this morning. That's right. They saw armored cars, heard a flashbang, and witnessed Abo getting arrested around 2.30 this morning. Even though he was supposed to be protecting children, neighbors tell me they're not surprised by the accusations against him. When they loaded that little boy, well, they had... A fire truck here. Ruby Swartz considers herself the neighborhood grandmother. She's always keeping an eye on the local kids, and she's friends with everyone on her quiet street. Everyone except for Michael Labo. After about a year and a half, he finally would speak. I would say, hi, how are you today? And he'd say, oh. But Swartz says it's how Abo interacted with his own kids that really stood out. If the little boy was in Mama's car going to McMinnville, he'd always blow a kiss at me. When he left. But if he was in daddy's car, he was not allowed to look. So Swartz says she wasn't surprised when an ambulance showed up to Abo's house on New Year's Eve. When they brought that child out, I just almost went to my knees. I just, it just, it's horrible. They life flighted his girlfriend's four year old son to OHSU and came back for Abo three days later. Police were not taking any chances when they arrested Abo early this morning. In fact, neighbors say they used an armored car to rip through this gate. They even ripped a hole right through his back fence. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, he was arrested without a shot fired. Now, Swartz is praying for the little boy and hoping Abo won't be moving back into this home anytime soon. I think he should be persecuted as far as he can be. And that boy's still in critical condition, and Abo's still in jail. Bail is set at $1 million. We could see formal charges as early as next week. Stephen Mayer, K2 News.